have been really embracing the spooky vibes here in October on this channel, and someone recommended in my comment section that we bring that to the tiny home build series that we've got going on by doing every tiny home is a different deadly sin. So here's the lot that I made for this. I set the stage here by landscaping using a lot of vampires debug in here, and a new Sims 4 build hack that I learned recently that allows you to put these rocks into the terrain without using the tool mod, which I can link that video down below if you guys want to learn that too. So we're probably only going to be able to fit three tiny homes on here. We're not doing all seven of the deadly sins, but there'll be like one, two, and three in the back there. We're going to be using this wheel randomizer to figure out which deadly sins we're going to be building for today. The seven deadly sins, of course, being pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. And I will tell you more about those, like if we land on them. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel, see which one we're going to be doing first. We get sloth. So in this case, we're not referring to the little <laughs> cuties that hang from trees, although the behaviors are similar. Sloth in this case is of course associated with laziness, but it's also associated with carelessness, half-hearted efforts, and becoming easily discouraged by any possible difficulty. Is this my horoscope? No, I'm kidding. So our first tiny home up here is going to have to represent that. So we're going to start off by building our shell. We're going to keep this relatively small and simple. I'm going to do a front entry area right here. We're going to roof it. Roofing today is going to be pretty simple as well. I might make it a little bit taller looking like that. And then we'll copy and paste to the other side and just bring it across so they match up there. Actually, I might bring that all the way over like this. I do want this whole thing to be sort of whimsical in a way. So we're going to be going into this with that in mind. And this one in particular, we might make it like messy. We could do an overgrown plant moment. We can put our door in there like that. And I read somewhere that sloth is associated with the color blue. So we're definitely going to lean into the colors associated here as well. I quite like that one there from Seasons. I maybe want to do one of these for roofing from Cats and Dogs. We'll get the trim on there. We'll use a base game foundation. And then for the wood and everything, I want to use like this antique wood or even like the Jungle Adventure one. It's something that looks a little less like put together. And for windows, I'm thinking about using these ones here from Cottage Living. Maybe combining these ones here at the front so it's like a bigger version of the shutters. So there it is so far with the windows. I added a chimney on there and this so far is what it's looking like. Now I want to start to make it look a little more messy. Right now it looks pretty put together for what I'm going for. To get that overgrown effect, I'm going to be using some of these vampires vines going up the wall. We can use these unkept shrubs here. We could also maybe use these here from Cottage Living, like going up the side. I find these a little bit big sometimes. I'm just going to like shrink them. I'm also using some of this wild grass along the side to landscape. We could actually use this roofing here from werewolves because it already has like the moss on there. I was raising up plants and putting it up there like that. And then on the side here, I do want to put a skill item outside. I was thinking about adding one of the telescopes here, like one of the beaten down ones, not maintained at all, but we can make it cute and cozy. We'll have like these chairs out here, maybe one of these torn rugs around. I was thinking we could even like layer them, add some pillows. Maybe the sim that lives here is lazy. They're a slob, but in reality, they're actually just spending all of their time stargazing. I feel like that's such a cute little spot for it too. There we go. That is our stargazing area. And this is our overgrown sloth house. Look how pretty it actually looks up on that hill. I'm excited to finish this one. Okay, let's go inside. I want to focus a lot on the bedroom in here. Ooh, we do not have a lot of room. Also, I really like how those plants look on the roof, but if they're going to be in the way, I don't really want them to be there. I think we're still fine without it. So I feel like in here, I don't know if I want to close off anything. I think I'm going to keep it open concept for like the bedroom and the kitchen and living room. So let's do our bathroom. Bathroom is just going to be a small one for tiny homes. I like to just not really allow them to take up a whole lot of space. So bathroom will be back there. We're going to have a little nook right there as well. And then everything else is going to be open concept in this build. I sort of want it to be like the sim that lives here is in bed a lot. They like get up to make some food, but then they go back to bed, just watch TV. We can use this door from city living that's like a little beaten down. This sim is not interested in maintenance. Something like this could be kind of cool, mimicking like the overgrown feel on the outside. Or maybe we could use that in the bathroom. I kind of wanted this room to be a little bit darker. This flooring from spooky stuff could be even better. And then for in here, this might be too much pattern. Maybe we'll do a dark blue spa day wallpaper in there with some black marble flooring and there we go. It's become quite a habit for me to set the lighting while doing anything in The Sims 4 regarding building. So I've set majority of the lights here to blue. I've also gone in with these blue candles just to kind of like warm it up a little bit. I might even change these to more of like a yellow color. Doing this honestly feels like putting a filter on your builds. Like I've always highly recommended paying attention to lighting in builds. It can change the entire thing. Okay, so main focus here is going 
to be the bed. We need a big, comfy, beautiful bed. I'm thinking like canopy, maybe like this one from high school years. So that bed there with this mirror from Get Famous. And I was thinking maybe about putting like a divider in here as well. And I think what we're gonna do here is add a whole bunch of stuff first and then go in and mess it up, make it cluttered, make it messy. I'm using these really pretty curtains here from high school years. And these are the canopies I was talking about. I'm just gonna put those over top of the bed there. So, so far, this is what we got. And on this side, I'm gonna add a whole bunch of like laundry over there because in this build, your Sims are gonna scoot into the bed that way. So they don't actually need to be over here. We'll have more mirrors for them to use in this build, I'm sure. But let's put like laundry over here and make it messy. We'll put like a laundry bin like that. There's a few we can put. This clutter over here, I'm gonna put sticking out of the bed. More piles of clothes over here as well. We're also gonna include things like cracks on the wall. I could do one there. Maybe some like rips in the wallpaper too. I'm thinking maybe over here we can have the kitchen like right when you walk in. So I'm gonna add this fridge here. This one is from Country Kitchen Kit. I love this divider, but I feel like it's taking up a lot of room. Maybe I can put it over on this side for now. So kitchen over here, we're gonna have fully functional. We'll have our sink right there. We can add a stove right here. We've got counter space for prep. And for our trash can, I think I'm just gonna put one right outside the door just so that we'd have a little more space here. So we'll just put one right there. And for clutter in here, I really wanna add a lot. Like we need to go all out, make this really messy looking. But I do need to make sure that we still have this space for prep. So we can't put anything there. Although we could put some cutting boards. These are actually wall decor, so they're not gonna mess with like the functionality of this. We could also add like those right there, some knives above. And then on here, I wanna add like letters, mail, clutter. So we can use those from Strangerville. We could do a box of clutter there. I kinda wanna add like plates and stuff. We could do like the snowy escape ones. Maybe these are actually dirty dishes that are just racking up here. And those won't make your house stinky if you download this. I'm also gonna add some of these letters and stuff on top of the fridge. Maybe we can do like this messy stack of books up there. These letters here. Okay, so there is our kitchen. You know what we could do over here in this space is use one of those tiny like one tile desks. I know there's one from Tiny Living we could use. I personally really like this one here from Parenthood. We could add a computer in here. Maybe this sim spends a lot of time on there. I'm gonna add this worn chair there from Werewolves. Again, stacks of stuff in the corner there. Maybe some old shelves here. We could add some clutter onto that. As long as the clutter is out of the way, it's not gonna mess with you as much. It's just gonna look really, really messy. <laughs> so there's that little space, a whole bunch of clutter on those shelves. I think in the corner here, we can go ahead and add a TV. I'm using that crafted table there and we're gonna go and get maybe this eco lifestyle debug TV. And I'm trying to find some chairs that maybe look a little bit weathered. Like I was thinking of using this werewolves one here or even these eco lifestyle ones looking a little bit less maintained. Beanbag chairs even. I'm kind of just looking for any space available where I can put extra clutter. I've added some spider webs in here. And I think in terms of messiness, I think we've got it. I've added like stuff on the walls, spider webs, plates, mail, books everywhere. Um, I think we're gonna do the bathroom and then we can move on from this one. So in here, it's gonna have like the toilet in there, the Discovery University shower. We'll do maybe like a messier looking sink like this one from Laundry Day. I'm gonna use that mirror there from Realm of Magic. And since I don't have a whole lot of room in here, maybe I can get away with cluttering up a couple shelves above the toilet. Maybe some cleaning supplies that haven't been touched in a while or maybe they bought like laundry detergent with the intent of buying a laundry machine because there's so much laundry here on the floor. They haven't gotten there yet. They're constantly saying, yep, I will do that at some point and they just <laughs> haven't. So because of that, we're gonna put some spider webs on there just making it look like this stuff hasn't been touched in a while. Adding some cracks onto this nice new looking body tile. And there we go. This is our sloth tiny home. Our first deadly sin that we're gonna be working on here. I actually quite like the aesthetic in here. Like, I know it's messy looking, but you would easily clean this up and make it look not so bad. All right, let's move on from this one. We're gonna go straight over to our next tiny home and it's raining in my game. It's so fitting. All right, so let's go ahead and spin to see which one will be next. We get lust. Okay. Whoa, I just paused my game right as the lightning was striking. Look how cool that is. I've never paused that so perfectly. So over on this little hill is going to be our lust home. And I really don't want to build this on a diagonal. So our shell is going going to have to have an entry area like that and then we can bring this back this way maybe. We can do a small roofing piece that way and maybe one coming to the front this way. Maybe a little overhang coming over this way. This is where our entry can be. This one is the most obviously explained one, I would say. Any lustful actions are involved in this sin. <laughs> we're gonna be using a lot of red in this. We're gonna be associating like fire in here and we're gonna have to make sure that we include a few uh, woohoo spots. So I'm thinking we're definitely going in with a red siding, maybe a 
red brick on this house. The brick could work. That one there is from vampires. Maybe we'll do like a dark brick foundation there. And okay, for windows and doors, I think I'm gonna use some My Wedding Story stuff here. We're gonna go in with those shutters. There's also a smaller version of that we could put at the front here. So we're gonna do that for our basics. And then for landscaping, I wanna do things like roses, passions, kiss, flowers. We're gonna do a whole lot of like red landscaping here. Around the side, we can use these flowers. Ooh, with like these shrubs too. I love these actually. We could also include some romantic garden flowers. That looks so pretty like that. Okay, I'm also gonna go into the back. We're gonna flatten this terrain a little bit so Sims can get back there. So just a little bit going through there. So there's a walkway now. Ooh, we could go and get some debug stones. Have a romantic little pathway going back there. <laughs> We've got some candles leading back here and then back here. We need a woohoo spot. Um, so if you weren't aware, you can use these bushes for multiple purposes, including wahooing. So we're gonna use this heart one here. That definitely fits the vibe. Maybe we'll put two. Oh, we could put the dumpster back here. Gross, yes. Wahoo spot, also yes. I didn't make the rules, okay? <laughs> I think last thing I'm gonna do is add some window boxes here with some flowers in them. And I did say I wanted to deal with like fire in this build. We're probably gonna lean into that more when we go inside, but I'm gonna use these for my wedding stories. These are little candles that can just like go on the wall like that. There is a creepy aspect to this, which I'm kind of loving. So there is going to be our second house there. This is our lust house. Oh my God, look at it with that lighting. Okay, let's go inside. And okay, because of the thunderstorm, I have some mud in here now. Do you mind? Okay, bathroom, I'm gonna put maybe right here. We'll just move this window over a little. This one is definitely going to have a closed off bedroom. So maybe we'll make a bedroom like the main part of this again in a very different way. <laughs> okay, so here's the plan here. We're gonna have our main room right there there, bedroom over to the back, bathroom here, which I might make bigger. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. And we're gonna have a closet because that is another Wahoo location. <laughs> and another Wahoo location that I kind of forgot about is this pile of leaves. So we'll just add that to the backyard here. Okay, so closet. This thing is kind of annoying because it's very big and takes up a lot of room. Ooh, actually it takes up less room than I thought. Okay, so we're just gonna put that like that. So we are actually gonna put our closet over there. We're gonna do a big full bathroom in this one, basically just so that we can have the shower, another Wahoo location. <laughs> Lighting for this is gonna be a red, all red. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, maybe not that red. The bedroom maybe? Oh god. Red lighting, but maybe like all black. We'll do black flooring in here. I'm gonna set my filter to black and red. I am very picky about my red tones. I really like a dark red in The Sims. I don't like the like more bright ones like that. However, this could maybe work. Okay, so in the main room here, I want it to look kind of fancy. I still am not sold on this wallpaper, so we might change it. But in terms of layout, I think I could get my kitchen to go over here. It's gonna be similar to the other one where they're gonna prep on that corner counter. So we need to make sure that's empty. So we'll do a sink on there. I think I'm gonna go for like all black with red accents in here. I just was not feeling the red wallpaper. I don't know what it is. One thing I wanna prioritize in here is not only the wahoo spots, but I also wanna put things that actually make Sims get into a flirty mood. So for example, this VIP bucket has a flirty emotional aura attached to it. Same as this here from Spot day, this incense holder. I definitely want to have a dining table in here just for two. We could maybe do the red spa day one there. With the matching chairs, I think. I don't know if I've ever used those. We'll get the fluffy rug in here. I want to decorate with like rose decor. We can put the single rose in there. Maybe we can use that rose decor there from vampires. And we actually also have these flirty drinks here. These are from Eco Lifestyle. I'm going to put a couple of these up here on top of the fridge. Maybe we can put one on there. It's like, you know, when you walk into an Airbnb or something and there's a complimentary drink on the table sometimes. And then over here, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a TV. I really wanted a fireplace in here. We could try and get that vintage glamour fireplace right there. We'll mount a TV over top. And then if I can get even just like a couch or a chair right here without it being too squishy, the trash can in here again is gonna have to go right outside. And we're gonna pull it all together with some candles there from Spa Day and a dine out plant right there. Okay, we are going to move on. Let's go ahead and do the bathroom. So the bathroom in here, the shower is another woohoo location. So we're definitely going to be putting one of those. So we got our shower there. We're gonna do a sink beside it, a mirror to match the aesthetic. And we can probably do like red towels in here. So I'm gonna use those ones from vampires. We'll do 
two red robes. Toilet right beside the door here, and we just need some curtains to cover it up. Oh, we could use these like neon hearts in here. Definitely not something I would put in my regular bathrooms, but I think we could get it to work, especially around like over here. So this is our bathroom. I actually really like the neon in here, which I kind of wish I used more in this room, but we can bring it into the bedroom. So this is our lust bathroom. And moving on over to the bedroom, which has the mud in it. I'm gonna try and see if I can cover that up, but we're gonna get our curtains in here again. We're doing red bed. We could maybe do like this one here from the industrial loft kit. Oh my God, or this one. I feel like we have to. I've never used that in my life, but that definitely fits the aesthetic here. That mud. Okay, I have to evict my sim that lives here. We're gonna go in with these end tables. I'm shrinking them down, but they're from Get Famous. Oh my gosh, I actually just thought of a funny story. So one time I went on a vacation with my family, my entire family and my boyfriend was there too. And my mom books at this hotel, right? It looks gorgeous in the pictures. <gasps> and we show up to this hotel, me and my whole family. We get to this hotel and we check in <laughs> and automatically you can tell that something's a little bit off in, in this hotel. My mom had accidentally booked a Wahoo hotel in real life. <gasps> if you're picking up what I'm putting down. The whole hotel was like decorated in a way that like it would have like subtle little hints here and there. It was just so weird. And literally the last place you want to be when traveling with your whole family. We ended up checking out obviously and going to a different hotel, but like we had to stay there for a night, just how it worked out. It's safe to say it was a very long 24 hours we spent in this place. And the room that I'm building here very much resembles some of the things that I saw there. So anyway, this is going to be our lust tiny home. I think overall there are like six Wahoo locations here. We are gonna move on to our final tiny home, which is gonna be over in this corner here. This is what it's looking like overall so far. And let's go back to the wheel and spin to see what we're gonna get for tiny home number three. So spinning for the final one and we're gonna get envy, okay. So envy obviously referring to like jealousy. Envy is the desire for other people's traits, status, abilities, or situation. So our Envy house, we're gonna make it look really nice, really fancy, green. We're gonna see a lot of green here. So I have my shell here. I think I'm gonna keep it again, pretty simple. It's been turning out really nice with these like simple little shells here. So we'll just do a couple roofing pieces there and maybe we'll pull these across like this. We'll again raise this up on a foundation. We've got our deck there. I've been keeping the fencing and columns and everything at the same throughout these, just so we have a little bit of consistency and they're not looking too different. I do still want it to look like a little neighborhood. I really love how these are all like laid out on the terrain and everything. The landscaping looks so good. Okay, so for our roofing, we're gonna keep it clean. Maybe we can do like a black metal. And I wanna do green paint on the side, but I want it to be like a dark green, like maybe this one here from Jungle Adventure. For windows, I do wanna stick with the overall vibe. I'm kind of playing around trying to find some like windows that match this little neighborhood here, but I want this one to look like the most put together of all of them. Maybe these Strangerville ones could look cute with like a bay window out on the side. We could do that door there from Discovery University. Maybe we need some fancier columns like this. What about maybe these ones here from Realm of Magic or these really thick ones here from Discovery University if I can adjust them here. And then up top here, cause I don't really like how that is cutting off. I'm gonna use these here as my trim. Those are just base game shelves and it's just gonna add a little bit of like finishing touches to this. Maybe with those underneath it look kind of cute. And I wanna get some window boxes. This sim is gonna be super extra. They're gonna care so much about what other people think. Everything in this sim's life is going to be perfect, but they don't see it that way. They're still looking up at the lust house wanting something they've got that they don't have. Even though this is going to be the most like put together house on the block here, they still don't see it that way and they're still gonna be thriving for more. Should we put the knights out friend? I feel like yes. Maybe we can have them just like both on this wall here. <laughs> Again, flaunting the fact that they've got money. And there we go. This is going to be our envy house. It is cute. Let's go inside. Okay, so making the most out of this space here, we're gonna have a bathroom in the back, a bedroom here, and open concept kitchen and living room. We could do maybe this flooring here from paranormal in there. Something like this could potentially work for the bedroom. I was thinking though, like maybe a darker green, like something like that. Or we could do like a white marble on the floor. Maybe keep the green for the bedroom potentially. We're gonna get a super extra door here for the bedroom. Same as for the bathroom there. We're gonna use that one from Get Famous. Let's do a spot a chandelier when you walk in. Super obnoxious, expensive, like Get Famous chairs. I'm using these Get Famous rugs here to create like a rug in the middle. Just some kind of design that, I don't know, maybe a rich 
home would have. Wait a minute. I did not know that these had different swatches underneath. What? Okay, I'm so late to this party. I understand that. But did you guys know that these were hiding in here? I had no idea. So you can just combine them. They're all like little corner pieces like that. Interesting. Okay, I'm not going to use them for this build, but I definitely will for future reference. We can use some of these marble end tables at the end here. I could maybe put a TV on there. Or we could do one of these like fancy things. I could raise this up and use that as a speaker. Of course, we're going to need Princess Cordelia in here as well. We're going to need the best of everything. I'm using these counters here from Vampires. So we're doing full kitchen here. We're doing the best appliances. We can maybe even get a dishwasher. Trying to show off to all the other ones having a bigger kitchen. I've made some changes here and they might be a little bit risky. We were really leaning into that white marble look, expensive, but I want it to be a more of a darker aesthetic than that. So instead, we're going to lean into more of like the green and black. I think this is going to end up working out a lot better than like the angelic white we were going for. I do think I want a table to be over here. So I'm going to try and find something that can fit in that corner. Going for these obnoxious, expensive looking chairs. In terms of traits in The Sims, this sim would definitely be like materialistic, snobby, maybe mean. All right. So this is our dining room side all complete. We've got the hanging plants over there, the Princess Cordelia, this whole thing looking so extra and expensive. Let's move from here into the bathroom, which in here again, we're going to definitely be using all the expensive plumbing, the $12,000 bathtub coming in hot. I've kind of had like Slytherin vibes in my head through this, like the green or something about it. So very basic in here, very expensive as well. I added that realm of magic picture on the wall, a couple extra things here and there, and we are ready to move on. And the final room is going to be the bedroom. We're going to get a really expensive bed. I think I'm going to do that one. I'm going to use some vintage glamour mirrors on the wall there. Paranormal actually has some really cute things in the black swatch. So I'm going to use maybe this shelf here on the corner. Ooh, like this couch. Okay, I still need to have room for a dresser, but I really want that couch to go right there. Since we don't have a TV in the other room, we could mount one probably like right here. Maybe just frame it with these pictures going around it. And then underneath that, we can put the dresser, which I'm pretty sure I want to use the one from Vintage Glamour. Like this one can match and just go right under there. We can add a couple more things here, like the golden bowl of fruit, maybe even some gold bars in here, because why not? I'm going to hide some underneath the dresser too. Like we can shrink it and just have it sticking out there. And there we go. This is going to be our Envy bedroom. We've got some pictures on the wall, the black and gold. So much going on in here. It's so extra. But this is how we're going to end our final tiny home of this little series here. And this is how the overall neighborhood turned out. These super cute little tiny homes. We've got the sloth, the lust, the envy. And that concludes this every tiny home is a different blank challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.